Yo, what's poppin' here? You know what time it is, man. It is kicking with Too Cold, man. We got a special guest in the building today, man. Special episode, man. It ain't about rap. It ain't about music, man. It's about fashion, man. We diving deep into the fashion world, man. Uh, let the people know your social media handle. Uh, 317C or um, Crazy World Clothing. The C-R-Z-Y uh, W-R-L-D dot clothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. First of all, we got the same name down there. Man. What the fuck? Uh, this is the first guest who named hey, is CJ, too. CJ, the coolest niggas ever, shit. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely one of the best yeah. names in the world, man. You heard it here first, man. Uh, And you spell your shit like C-E-E, too, right? Man, either way. Either way. <clears throat> what made you start spell, spelling it with the C-E-E? Shit, just playing with shit, you know, Instagram and shit, you know, fucking with, you know, names on Instagram. Right, hell yeah, hell yeah. You uh, you from the net? Yep, yep, for sure. What side of town you from? From the east side. Shit, grew up all over the east side, pretty much. Oh god, oh god. Far east side or right, ladies? Yep, 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 shit, both, really. I me, mean, uh, what what line of business would you say you in? Man, shit, I'm shit, just an all around business man. Shit, I, I'm doing the clothes right now, um, but I do everything pretty much. I get into real estate. I get into all type of shit. I used to do music. I used to I used to do uh I used to make beats. Right. Used to make uh pictures for people music and shit like. Oh, okay, and graphics shit. and shit. Yeah, I used to do all type of shit. Oh, okay, okay. So you was already tapping into the little graphic, graphic yeah. side. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. What sparked your interest into fashion? Man, I don't know. It's kind of like a story how this shit came about, but shit, I don't know. I I kind of just jumped into this shit for real. Like this shit is. Just happened for real. I, I don't know where yeah. to snap a finger. Just, yeah, just I'm doing clothes. It just made sense. Yeah. Right. How it made sense? You was already like dripping and shit. Yeah, but like, see, my boy, my boy had he had started his, and then shit. Like I seen he had he was making his own shit though. Like he had the um he had the setup. He had the fucking um the little press printer and everything. Yeah. Making the shit. So I'm like, shit. I pay some bread. Shit. Make make me a little logo or some shit. Real mm-hmm. quick. Shit. Um. He made me a, um, my original logo. Just said Crazy World. It's, it was real basic, but yeah. um, it was real. It I don't know. It was short and simple. Like it was right. it was sweet, and shit. Um, I don't know. I started with that and shit. I just I had to grow. Shit, I had to change it up. Shit, that's yeah. when I came with this shit, and I just been dropping. Shit, I just been loving the feedback I've been getting from the shit. Yeah, and I for sure that feedback and do something to you, bud. It, yeah, it yeah. keep you, it keep you motivated. That's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, keep you sure. motivated, man. For real, for real. Uh, define fashion in your terms, man. Shit, just shit. Some shit like just <laughs> wearing, wearing. You know, some shit that's gonna make you feel like you the man. Like, like yeah. you feel like I don't know. It just, it's just how you, how it make you feel. Type shit. Like you take that picture, that Instagram picture, you feel me? You, you just I don't know. You just it, yeah. fashion is just you know just doing your thing. I don't know. It say it's it's not what you wear. It's, it's on you. Come on, man. It's it not in you. It's on you, man. It gotta be in you. Uh, what I say? What I say? It, it's not on you. It's, it's in. Not on <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the fuck going on. Uh, what stands out about your brand from other brands? Shit, I'm original. Not not copying other other brands and what they doing and you know I'm just I don't know just putting my sauce on everything just just being creative. For sure, for sure, creativity is like the most important thing when it comes to any line of business we want to dive into. Yeah, yeah just got to be different. So, what's the meaning and inspiration behind Crazy World? Shit, really, like. I was trying to appeal to everybody, like yeah. just some shit that everybody can appeal to. But I wanted to mean something to me. Mm-hmm. Like the crazy world is my initials. The Earth is the logo, but that's like Earth Day is my birthday type shit. So it kind of all oh yeah, the Earth is me. the logo. And I kind of you know just I wanted to make it appeal to everybody. You know, it's a crazy world, shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. First of all, first of all, bro hooked me up with. Crazy world stacked sweatsuit, bro. And I, I ain't gonna cap, bro. This quality insane, bro. Like, I can you. feel this shit right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be sleeping the, in this shit. Like, yeah, this shit, like, this shit, like, pee, real pee. You feel me? Like, it's stacked perfectly. 
It's thick. It's great quality. Like, I don't know. I get compliments on this shit everywhere I go. Like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. You probably going to send me a text like, man, the motherfuckers want this shit. Like, man, that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to promote this shit the best way I can. You, you might be one of the Keep biggest, growing. you know what I'm saying? This, this brand right here going to take you places, bro. I ain't going to lie, That's bro. what I'm trying to do. Keep that meaning, that substance behind this shit. It's yeah, going to be, yeah, it's sure. going to do what you need to do. Um, Give us three reasons why the people should shop with you. Man, because shit. Number one, I'm going to keep coming with harder and harder shit. I'm going to keep investing into the brand. Number mm-hmm. two, shit, I'm a father, shit. I'm just another black business, just, you know, trying to do my thing, trying to oh grow, God. trying to, you know. Oh, God. Trying to, you know, find my way out here. But, um, shit, number three, shit. I don't know, it's just, I feel like I'm a, I'm a different brand that's going, you know, I'm going a, I'm to a keep, keep providing. Yeah. Oh, God, oh, God. I don't see nothing wrong with that, man. It's all valid reasons, man. Y'all go tap in with Crazy World, man. Sure. Uh, what's the first step someone should take if they want to start a clothing brand? First step, you got to have an idea. A lot of people be asking me, like, you know, what they could do to, you know, they, they trying to pay me to get them started and stuff, and they don't even got an idea. <laughs> got to yeah. have an idea. Yeah. That's really, yeah, that's that's the first yeah, thing. Yeah, facts. Yeah, you definitely right about that. A lot, that might go over a lot of people's head, but it, it starts inside the brain, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the biggest challenge you face running the clothing line? Biggest challenge now? Shit. It's just running it, period. Because I got to be, I got to travel, you know, my... My schedule is hectic. I'll be having to be gone and shit. I can't really be, I can't really be here all the time. Yeah. And you know, just having to deal deal with that. Got to ship orders out and you know, just got to make different shit happen when I'm when I'm in town. Right. And it's all on you. Just yeah, pretty much. Shit. That's I how I feel people, running my business too. So yeah, shit, I got I'm, a couple people to help me out with. Right. You know, just gotta make it make it happen. All right, you say you travel a lot, so like, where, where you, uh, what got you traveling? Uh, work, my main, my main job. Yeah, I gotta travel, pretty much every week. You be all around the world. I mean, no, uh, all the, around country, the country. Yeah, 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 different, different states, different cities. Yeah, yeah. I've been in Vegas the last five months. Mm. Yeah, Vegas, Vegas is lit. Yeah, nah, for sure. Vegas one of them cities, boy. Yeah, yeah, Vegas. <laughs> Vegas one of them cities, man. Yeah. Uh. Do you come up with every idea from scratch, or you take inspiration from different places? Like, how it is, like, how I get my ideas is from my, my designers. Like, I might, I, when I get ideas, like, just randomly, I, I note them down. But when I, um, my, my designers post on Instagram, they post different shit on Instagram, and I'll be like, man, I fuck with that. Just if that was, you know, tweaked this way and, you know, I right, just change right. it up how I want it. And then <clears throat> shit, that's pretty much how I get my my inspiration. Okay. Yeah, so you do be getting inspiration from other people then? Yeah, pretty much. So ain't nothing wrong with that yeah, shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I look at other people, other things too, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it help build, you know what I'm saying? It help build who you are because no, we ain't just going to steal no shit. For real. We, we yeah, going to take it in. Yeah, hell, nothing. we going to take some shit and build, it, it be inspiration for real. Definitely. For real, be like, all you right, know. I could do something like similar, do this and switch this and add yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let, let's talk about the actual creation process behind the scenes because I know, like, it's a lot of work actually building a brand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is a vendor? All right, shit, the people that, you know, supply your shit, basically. Um, it's different ways that people get their stuff, but I actually get my stuff made in Pakistan. Yeah, and, I was going to ask that. You know, you got to, you got to, I don't know, it's it's different ways to get this shit. I can get it made here, but, you know, it's right, just right, different right. ways that people find Somebody them, was just know, saying crazy internet. stuff about Pakistan. It was saying something about Pakistan. They were saying bad stuff? Yeah, it was saying something. But it was, it was one of them, you know, if they say bad, they say it's it's just popular. They say bad stuff about everything. That's what I'm though. saying. It'd it be popular when they bring up negativity you, you type shit. You can get your shit. stuff from China. You know yeah. what they say about China? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. same thing. Yeah, facts. Facts. 
We see it overseas. I, I do hear like overseas be a lot of where people get their uh, manufacturing and, and vendors from. Because they thirsty for that money. How, how do you trust them though? Like, how do you know you're going to get your shit? That's one thing. I took a risk with this shit. Like, I ain't really had nobody to, 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 that was already doing this shit mm -hmm. to where I could ask, like, oh, is this how you do it? Nah, like, Man, I done watch videos and shit, and they saying basically, they basically gave me the sauce. You shit, watch, watch YouTube. YouTube will teach you anything. Yeah, I was just about to direct them to like, what, 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 who should they look up? Who, what person is there anybody specifically you looking okay, up? Okay, okay, okay. It's a dude named Dior Ray. I um, I was watching this dude on YouTube before I got started. Well, no, no, no. This was during the process because right. I needed to find a, a manufacturer. This was my biggest problem at one time. I needed somebody to make my stuff. And um, I got on there, got on YouTube. I was watching his videos. He, you know, just, just giving the whole sauce, giving everything and shit. I don't know. I basically put my trust in dude. Like, he was, he was, you right. know, giving the pros and cons. So he, he gave you, like, a website? Nah, 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 nah. See, with the manufacturers, you kind of got to find them. But they find you. Like what the fuck? When you when you yeah. I'm telling you they thirsty. Like when you um establish like on Instagram like as a as a a brand yeah as yeah. a clothing brand they gonna find you and they gonna flood your Instagram like crazy. But I get a lot of floods too. I be like, how the fuck? It look like scam. It do. It look it like do. scam. But I mean, I just look at they work. Right, I look right, at right. They right. work and see what they do. I'm like man, I fuck with that and how I look and shit. So are you direct contact with somebody? Can you call somebody and be like, hey, I need a hundred of these, blah blah. Boom. I got like I got like three different manufacturers. <clears throat> but how can you assure the same quality every time? Is it gonna be different every time? See, I just um I just tested that because I was working with one, and then I just started working with another one, and um. He made my t-shirts. T-shirts. The t-shirts was they. They was about the same. The same quality. Really. They. They really about the same quality for real. I really ain't even thought about that for real. Yeah. But that's pretty much the same. So like when you when you having conversations with your vendor, cause is your vendor like your best friend basically in the, in the bin and it's not not technically a best friend, but like is this like the main person you be in contact with? Nah, it's just one of the players, you know, you doing this, you gotta have a couple you need a designer, you need a um you need a manufacturer and you know, some other people, you know, they deal with other people, but them is the two main people that you need. But you can you can switch up your manufacturer. Um you know, just you just gotta be real detailed with what you want. Yeah, that's all. Exactly yeah. what you want. Like, you so your logo. So you just basically okay. So are you just sending it a logo and be like, I need, like, like how you get the red in the inside, the black on. Like, did you describe this? Like, did you? It's some shit called mock up. Um, the designer. That's what that. That's what they for. The designer. They design this for you. Tell them how you want it, where you want the colors, like. Uh, they so it's all, all about the graphic designer to actually create. They can make anything. Mm -hmm. uh, the designer and the uh, manufacturer, pretty much, they both can make anything. But you need the designer to to put the colors in the the you Placement. know if you want if you want uh, rhinestones or you know any type of shit like that. Like, and the manufacturer and the vendor can make all that shit happen. So it's like basically just mock draw up, something. The mock up is a detail. It tell you, tell you everything on there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Can you, can you, you got an example of a mock up? For the people. For me too, though. Yeah. <laughs> I got it all. So. Because uh, this, this crazy. You know what I'm saying? We uh. I'm gonna be tapping in with you too, cause uh, kicking it with two code definitely coming out with merch too, man. Uh, for the platform, you feel me? And shit, we put this shit in rotation. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, rock with you. I might come to you too and be like, hey, bro, you feel me? Like, ain't no mic shit. The way this shit feel, I am. And, and like you in the beginning, in the beginning phase, so it's like you you hungry. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people get established and lose that hunger. So this my women's shit. The women stuff that's coming right now, 
Mmm. Okay. Yeah, that's fly though. So the the designer, graphic designer, make your logo, make the mock-up for the clothes, like just make everything that you need. And then the the manufacturers, the manufacturers actually they they can make your mock-up too. Mm, depending on who you go with. Depending on who it is, you know, certain ones they do they do certain stuff. I try to get them to make to make them sometimes because the designers they gonna charge you. Yeah. But, you know, you already they, do the designers charge you per uh like so every time you think of a new design it's it's every it, it's different every designer but i've paid 80 for per like you know per design i pay 40. i got i got to do it in my dm you know talking about 50 50 design but shit, you can probably talk them down like you know if i get a couple that's crazy you know, pricing me, bro that's a good price bro it's it's a good price but when you add everything up you know, right. doing you know the manufacturing and everything, it's expensive. It's just yeah, expensive. I, I mean, I, let's speak about that because I was gonna say it. like, are you getting fronted? Like you mm-hmm. ain't getting fronted nothing. You you just straight no cashing fronts. out everything. Ain't no fronts. Is it a good deal though? Like as far as okay, can we talk about numbers? All right, we ain't gotta go too crazy into your personal. You know what I'm saying? But from a broad view perspective. You getting how many in each size? Like, all right, you, you would go and be like, all right, I need 30 of these sweats. You feel me? Do you do, you do it like that or you be like, you need? Yeah. yeah so it'll be, they usually tell me the, the price per suit. This shit like $40, $50 a suit, you know, depending on who you go to. Including About the own? 40, 40, 50. Includes, everything on it? Yeah, that's including everything. Um, for about 30, I want to say my last load, I want to say I did about 40, and I spent about 1400 something yeah, like that. Yeah, I was about to say, because 40 times uh, yeah, it's 50 is <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not cheap. Yeah. And then, this how, this how, a lot, like, I don't know if you watch the videos on YouTube, you know, how to do this shit, like, they'll probably tell you to, to get samples, and... I'm not gonna say that's wrong, but they gonna charge you so crazy on these samples. My For first, example. my first order, I got um, I got like six shirts or eight shirts or something like that. Man, I spent five hundred, like five hundred <laughs> for six 600. shirts. But how, why? For a, for a sample I of shirts, under, I never understood that, but. I don't know. It just made more sense to just get the load and So you definitely taking losses it's a in, risk. The, in the in yeah, the risk. It's definitely a risk. Yeah. Just but make I mean sure they it, get it right, make sure it they pay get out it. too though. Like once you get on a on the way, like this really a wave. You yeah. feel me? Like once you figure out a formula and get that shit moving. That's why you gotta promote, you know, once you get your stuff in, cause that Yeah. They they bought their money. Like if yeah. you're dealing with some legit people, because people yeah. will try to scam you, but you get some legit people, shit, they gonna get you your product. For sure. Uh, what's a common misperception about being a business owner? Uh, people thinking that you got it like that. Mm. I guess. Yeah, probably. Mm. Yeah, they th- think motherfuckers rich or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this shit take a lot of a lot of footwork. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure. I think anything we do and really putting our passion into it's going to take a lot of work because for one we want to put the work in because we really love it so it ain't no we ain't stopping with this shit uh yeah, yeah gotta put in that footwork though name your top three fashion designers mm. top three fashion designers i don't know i'm gonna say I don't know. I'm not really into like designer specifically. Right, right. But like, you know, like actually, like you know, the brands and shit. Okay, let's go. With, yeah, let's go. Top three brands. I fuck with. I fuck with Coach. A lot of people talk shit about Coach. I like Coach. Okay. Fucking um Burberry. And Polo. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> the Horseman. 
You got but them any- the big dogs, but actually I kind of want to go on to like the level because like this ain't you know that that type of level, right? Um, you know level like fucking Hellstar. Like I like Hellstar a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, um, off a lot of cough syrup. I like that shit too. Yeah. Really, a lot of. I don't know. It'd it be kind of hard to catch on. That's another yeah. thing. Trying to get your name like, like bubbling. Yeah, pretty much. In the middle of everybody but doing. It'd be, it be different <clears throat> stuff out there that I'd be catching on to and I'd be liking for sure. For sure, for sure. You got any like dream collabs that you want to collab? Like designers collab, right? Man, of somebody course. just tried to scam me on some collab shit. What the fuck? Literally How? like two days ago. It was another designer, but I guess somebody had a fake page or they. Like, I don't know. Mm, of a popular I was designer? Going, I was going at first. Yeah. They was trying to charge It you? wasn't a big designer, but they basically hit me up trying to collab. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And uh, I gave him a design and everything. I probably just took an L, really. Gave him a design. Because you had to hit your designer up to do it? Was, nah, they was going to use theirs. And I knew it was a scam from the jump because they wasn't they wouldn't really telling me enough information. Right. But um I really once they got to um to the point where they was gonna um talk to a manufacturer, they like, uh, all right, send me the money type shit like I'm like yeah. hold on, I'm like come get on video call. They never wanna got on video call. So I was like, man, Damn. Me, that's some weird shit. But <laughs> if that was real, that would have been a cool look like Right, right, right. Do you got a dream collab though? For for like any designers that you like, I'm not really, I, not really trying to do the collab shit for real. I don't know. I don't know, cause shit get weird when you splitting money and shit, and you know you go mm-hmm. into that type of that type of business. It's gonna have to be a know. price hike. Maybe one day, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have to be a price hike for to see some actual profit. I don't know. For right now, I ain't really doing no collabs. Yeah. When you made your first sale, what was that feeling like? Man. Right. I really Aquaman. don't even remember. Y'all remember what it felt like? I promise I don't even, I really don't even know. Well, what would it feel That's like right now? Question. But when I first got to got to make it sales, it, it was definitely, it was definitely lit. Like, that shit was a, a crazy feeling. To this just, date, how many sales you think you made total? Man, I'm still growing. Like, I'm really new in this shit, for real. I'm only a year in. Yeah. Only a year in. Only a year in. But sales, I'd probably say... I'd probably say around 50. Yeah, I'd probably say around, around 50. Because, yeah, I've been in fucking... Hell yeah. I've been in Vegas. Like, I, didn't, I, I got shit all over the country right now, really. Yeah, speaking about that, I mean, you got... Uh FYBJ Main promoting your clothing line. Let's start there. Let's you know start what I'm saying? There. Let's let's start hey, right lit. there. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, how, how that happen? That was crazy because it was like I manifested that shit. Damn. Like, like um, I had linked up with Ken Yeller first, mm. and um, I had I had hit him up like basically, you know, put this shit on. You know, I want you to wear it on your on your on your mm-hmm. Instagram page or something or say right, something. Right, right, right. Hopefully, but um. Paid him hundred dollars. The shirt I had didn't fit, so Damn. we just took a picture and uh, I let him get a shirt to somebody and shit on. Um, <coughs> it was like two weeks later, but I was talking to people. I'm like, man, I'm I'm linking up with J Main X and mm-hmm. shit on. Um, a couple weeks later, uh, J Main he posted uh he was on the strip, so I'm like, man, Vegas. Yeah, yeah. So I, I reposted was already my out story. There. Yeah, I'm man. Uh. I think I was working when that shit happened. But, um, yeah, I posted that shit on my story. Like, everybody tagged J Man, told him to get with me. I let a couple hours go by, see if he was going to respond or some shit. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm just about to hit up Ken Yellow because I know they they best friends type shit. Right, right, right. So I hit up Ken Yellow, like, shit, can you link me with J Man? And shit, um, he was like, yeah. He was like, shit, um, damn. Yeah, he was like, shit, just throw me a couple dollars. Oh, God. I'm like, shit, I ain't fucked up about it. Shit, this gonna change my fucking brand. Like, this right, gonna, right, right. You know, this gonna do something. So, I want to say it was the next morning, uh, cause I I had dropped my my number or whatever, and uh, 
King Yellow had called me while I'm working. He like, I'm with J Man right now. He like, but look. Oh, cause King Yellow live in Vegas too. Anyway. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and shit. I got out of work. I pulled up. I pulled up. J Man got a midget. He he carried Man. a midget like a, like a baby. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with J Man? Like, no, I, dude, I seen them skits too. I think he was really doing skits with that shit. Like, like dude retarded. Yeah. But. Yeah. He's carrying a midget. <laughs> I just threw I threw King Yellow 150. Oh, that's God. cheap. That ain't nothing. Man, what? Yeah, these man. good prices, man. These, listen, man, man. This motherfucker's paying. Listen, thousands. motherfuckers cry right now to do an interview for 150, 200. Motherfuckers is cry paying right. thousands for, for interviews. You hear any me? kind of links with people. You hear like, me? You hear me? 150 is people got to realize like when you care about your brand, when you care about your future, your success, you really don't see no dollar sign. You see investments and opportunity. You know what I'm saying? We not really focus on what shit costs. Can it help me get to where I need to be? On everything. Yeah, shit, that's what I'm looking for. You did the same. Yeah. That's exactly what you want. He went crazy in my shit. I wasn't expecting him to do all that. Like, yeah, he, he did, just, he did man, that. He did I'm like mama. five videos of my shit. Like, he turned my shit up for yeah, real. Yeah, he did that. Did you get uh, sales off of that? Hell yeah. Like, man, I had, um, I really, it was really for, because see, the only thing, he wasn't tagging me. Mm. And, I feel like that kind of, you know, played fucked into it, it a little. A little yeah, bit, it kind of yeah. fucked it up a little bit. But um, I had paid for an ad on Instagram. Paid for an ad on Instagram. Shit. Took the and video. That shit, that shit yeah. really, that shit Helped. really worked. Yeah. yeah. Shit. I got a couple sales off that shit. A lot of, like, I'm going to do it again. I'm going I'm to play with it a little bit. But You got a shop set up on um, Instagram? Not yet. I'm, I'm getting a website and stuff. I'm getting all that figured out. So it's really right now direct to consumer, yeah. like to hit the DM to Yep, straight to grab. the DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Size, whatever you want, straight to the DM and I'm sending it straight to you. Uh tell the people uh three things about yourself, the creator they might not know. Um Well, my full time job, I gotta travel. I uh put signs on buildings and stuff, like mm. like I do some Oh that's some, good, yeah. I do some different shit like yeah, that's, I don't that's know, a good people, pay. Yeah, people be, <laughs> he travel me and really kind of boosting my head up and shit. You know, I, I don't know that shit lit though. That shit changed my life for real. Yeah, for sure. Shit, um, really, I did. I started all this shit around the same time. Started my brand, then I started that yeah, yeah. shit. Me too. That's crazy. That shit. That shit. Crazy how like, that shit works. A work. year of change your life. I swear to God, a year of consistency, boy. Oh yeah. my God. But yeah, what you said? Uh, three uh, things. Three, yeah, three more. Yeah. I mean, not three more, but you said you, you said gotta, you gotta that they don't know. But you said uh, a job and uh, what you said? You said a father? No, we already yeah, know that. Yeah, I'm a father. Uh, I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a follower. I do everything my way. Like I ain't no rapper, you know. Right. I, I try to do everything legit. Like you know, I, I did I did my my little shit with. I'm gone. I'm like, gone. Now, I'm, hey, I'm about to be 29. I mean, bro, I feel like we in the same boat, bro. I swear to God, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm on the same shit, bro. Like, just trying to, it, up, trying to keep it, keep it peaceful, keep it straight and narrow. You know what I'm saying? Because at, at a point in time, you be like, man, that that shit ain't nothing. Going back and forth to jail or shootouts or about to die yeah. or paranoid with drug learning, sales learning and shit. Everybody else, yeah. learning from I'm the environment. Mom. Man, what? My pop's facing like 40 years right now. That was enough. Damn. Not facing. Yeah, he got sentenced up. to 40 years. That was enough. Yeah, facing 120. Up. I'm like, yeah, I can't end up like that. Yeah, my best friend, my childhood best friend, he got 50, 55 years, some shit like that. Yeah, man. Oh, it, it, when I hear them numbers, I'll be like, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm good. I'm, cool <laughs> I'm good. I, cool I got kids. You feel me? I'm trying to take care of what? my family. Uh, In your opinion, which celebrities... Got the best style. Uh, shit. Females and dudes. Whoever, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Um, fucking money bag, yo, he hard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who else be dressing? I don't know. I don't really be paying attention to everybody for real. You, you, you fuck with a little Uzi? But, um, it's see, like, I don't like that weird shit. <laughs> for real. I don't be liking all that weird shit. Like, you, don't, you don't fuck with Young Thug style? 
Nah, I don't get into all the weird. You said weird none of the weird, none, shit, none like, of the weird shit, man. No dresses and shit, man. Skirts and shit. I don't even get into like the skinny, super skinny pants for real. Like, kind of yeah. keep this shit, you know. It's yeah, super clear, skinny is crazy. As clear yeah. as possible. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Uh, stack jeans, the new wave for me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, feeling a stack some, this wave, is man. Some new shit for me too. Somebody had, like, I be taking suggestions. Like, yeah. that's another thing. Shit, I take, I take suggestions. Shit, mm-hmm. get on my ink and my DM and say, you need to, you need to do this or you need to mm-hmm. do that. I definitely take that. Like, somebody, I think like two people told me I, I needed to make these. And I'm like, shit, two is enough. Shit, right. I'm go ahead and make that shit. Oh God, ain't got to it. Uh, what ethics are important for fashion designers? Shit, you gotta be original. Shit, you gotta be creative. Shit, fucking, and you just gotta wanna keep keep making this shit. Keep doing, keep going. Yeah, you gotta wanna have that. Gotta have that drive. Yeah, just gotta keep keep fucking shit. Cause I don't know. I I'm at a at a point right now where it ain't even about the money. Like I just, right. I just be putting this shit out. Like, yeah, shit. It's, 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 I'm putting it out there. Shit, whoever gonna buy it, shit, come buy it. I got it. You think it's where your heart at? Hell yeah, cause shit. Once I got the opportunity to make a store or you know have, you know that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be crazy. Definitely. What's like, what's your end goal? Man. I know you I just said a store. Want a store, yeah. yeah, like being in Vegas, like walking in the in the you know them shoe stores and mm-hmm. stuff like. You eventually going to get into sneakers, too? Making my own? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I might stick to the to the sweats, you know? Mm-hmm. Sweats and T-shirts. Ride that wave right thing. now. Yeah, for right now, definitely. But, yeah, I might, you know, stick to that. I'm, I was I was going to do, like, um, Letterman jackets. Like, Letterman, mm-hmm. but I, yeah. I wasn't ready. He but said I went right here. This, this this winter coming up, I'm definitely gonna have some Letterman jackets. This shit's gonna be. Oh lit. yeah, this winter. This Crazy winter coming world. Up, this shit's gonna be lit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to that, bro. Definitely gonna snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, to. Your, your quality already going crazy. I can't wait to see what you come up with with that shit, man. Having 100 percent creative control with your clothes is crazy, anyway. Like the hardest thing about it be coming up with colorways. Oh, uh, yeah. Coming up with different colorways is the hardest thing because that'll be the the colorways is what's going to catch people's eye. Mm-hmm. And you got to come with different shit. Yeah, like, true story. I mean, so far, so good, my boy. So man, far, so good. I kept it simple. Like, that's yeah, black, thing red, I like white, gray. I like yeah, to keep I mean, it simple. Yeah. Because you can never go wrong. The logo shit. doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? There's some shit that you can yeah. just wear every day. Facts. It ain't even got to be no, you know, this some chill shit. Mm-hmm. Or you can put it on when you trying to put that shit on. Shit. You got, you got. Uh, what's your favorite? Like, give me like three of your favorite trends, trends, in fashion in the past or the present. Favorite trends. Mm. Favorite fucking trends. Here, let's see. You like the baggy jean era. You like the? I, think, man, I ain't gonna lie. Looking back at the big, you know, the big clothes era, I that think that shit back. was corny as fuck. Oh damn! <laughs> I, I, th- I, th- I think I th- the big th- clothes <laughs> era was corny as hell because motherfuckers used to overdo it. Yeah. Five X shirts, we love man, bro. Hell. What you look at a D four L video man, right now, bro? That shit look corny. Nah, nah, nah. I think that make us look bad. I ain't <laughs> that lie. shit was down to the uh, <laughs> middle of their thought, bro. <laughs> my mama. Motherfucker cracking that soldier boy and shit. <laughs> I used to do it. I can't shit. Nah, I can for talk sure. about it. Shit. I feel I like our mama it. had us in that shit, though. Our parents had us in that shit, man. They, why they let us I didn't pick that shit. shit. <laughs> I did not pick that shit. Mama. Hey, shit, that was, that was a fad, but shit. Not, definitely not one of my favorites. I ain't yeah. really fuck with that. You got you to tell me what's one of your favorite trends. Man. Favorite trend. I never really been a, a trendy, you know. I wasn't really into the trends. I always kind of was just doing my thing. But man, I don't even know. I can't even say. Disco breakaway uh, trend. Uh, it's all right. Okay. You know, it's it's okay. This crazy world is the best trend. Shit. Hey, it's hey, my say that, damn mama. Yeah, say that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> 
How do you handle criticism? Shit, I don't even, I don't even hear no criticism. Shit, all the shit yeah. I be hearing be good. Shit, Everything you be know, good. Yeah. A lot of people be trying to, you know, you know, give me advice and shit. You know, I mean, it's that shit cool. For sure, for sure. But I don't know. Bad criticism. It is what it is. Yeah, I I can see a uh, little to no criticism. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. I mean, but yeah, I'm open and to And I that. ain't bigging this shit up I'm just because we on. I'm definitely open to people telling me, like, yeah, this, because when I got these, like, I mean, I had my opinions, like, yeah, some, you know. Right. I feel like the hood could have been a little, you know, a little bigger. Looser. You know, yeah. or some shit, you know, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I, I'm open to that shit, you know, but I don't know when it come to, um, you know, talking to the manufacturer, because they barely know English. Like, it'd be hard to, to c- communicate the with them fuck? like that. For real. Like, they, and then they want to talk on the phone and stuff, and they barely, barely know English. It's hard mm. to communicate. But, yeah. I mean, it get done. Yeah. Uh, how do you overcome a lack of motivation to work? If you have ever have, like, any, you ain't got any down days, like, man, I don't feel like doing shit, like. How you come? How you get over that? Shit, I don't know. Shit, some days you gonna feel like that. Shit, some days you shit, you just be ready to go. Shit, <laughs> like that, shit. some yeah. days you just gotta take a chill day. Shit, not for sure. Yeah, sit your ass down a little bit. It won't hurt nothing. <laughs> sit down, bro. For real. Relax, man. Like, I don't know. Shit, you gotta rest. That's the best thing that I could really say. Like, you get. You get the best ideas when you're not really, you know, forcing it. Mm-hmm. Shit. I don't know. With this clothing brand shit, you can move at your own pace. Like, so. I don't really, you don't got to, you know, produce, you know, every day, you know. I don't know. You can move at your own pace. You know, some, I don't know. I say shit, just find what motivates you to, to you know, you got kids or something. Shit. Go get that bag. Right. All right. Uh, tell me your thoughts on this quote. A man who avoids suffering is a slave of comfort. Shit, if you scared to fail, shit, you ain't going you ain't really going to get nowhere. Um, I don't say it again one more time for me. A man who avoids suffering is a slave of comfort. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people a lot of people get too comfortable and they don't never really reach their full potential. Mm-hmm. That's really all that's saying. Mm-hmm. Constantly seeking comfort can actually limit us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, making you're us slaves to our own desire for ease. Yeah, yeah, you're stuck in a box. Shit. Yeah. It's crazy. You don't see nothing. You, you sitting in Indianapolis all shit. <laughs> every, you know, yeah, your every whole year life. you're not doing yeah, nothing. Your whole, yeah. Go you're sitting somewhere. around not go. doing anything with your life. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get up. Yeah, yeah, go do something <laughs> for real. Like, that's weird. Like, as soon as you step foot somewhere in a bigger city, somewhere, you know, nicer or something, it's going to change a whole perspective. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Shit, I was just in fucking Vegas for four months, and it was just like, Shit was just blessings on top of blessings. Like people, I'm promoting my brand and just mm-hmm. doing like it wasn't nothing going wrong. When Sound I was like Vegas there. was. Man, yeah, Vegas did what it was supposed to do. On me, on me, and it gave you that mentality. You you got that mentality right now. He locked in, y'all. I ain't gonna cat. I feel in. it. Oh, he locked in. Uh, before we cut out, man, you got uh any last words for your fans or supporters? Anything? Any messages? Man, what's shit. next? Just keep looking out for this shit. I'm going to keep dropping every month, really. I'm dropping oh, every, every month. Damn. Um, website coming soon. I just, man, I'm trying to grow my audience. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I ain't trying to lose with this shit for real. Like, I'm trying to come harder and harder every year, you know, but oh, I need man. my people, I need my people to, su- to support me. That's one thing about it. For sure. Shit, that's it. Shit, what's that's what's real, the ticket? Shit. What's the ticket for these stack sweats? Man, shit, Stack these sets. suits here. Hundred dollars for the suit. Yeah, yeah. Hundred dollars for the suit. I got black. I got gray. I got a brown set. I got women's. I got um, black, gray, and pink. Man. Yeah, but that's a whole different design. Oh uh, yeah, the one that's coming. Just huh? some simple shit, you know. Yeah, the hundred Crazy world across the booty. Um, this is. 
I'm probably doing them for 80. Yeah. 80 for the ladies. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's Valentine's yeah. Day coming up too, man. You gonna have to drop out before Valentine's Day? Um, probably not. I don't think so. Okay, probably okay. right like a week after or Right around like it though. Yeah, yeah. 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 Still in the love month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you still so. gonna catch the love month, Black History Month, you know what I'm saying? Uh tell them who you kicking it with, man. Man, we kicking it with two cold. You already know what time it is, man. You is kicking it with two cold, man. Until next time. And before I go, I ain't never did this. I'm going to set the camera back. We're going to do a little, you know what I'm saying, a little 360 of this outfit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me what you think about it in the comments, man. Drop it in the comments, man. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, man. You don't get this in nowhere else, man. Only in Naptown. Only with kicking it with two cold, man. Stop playing. Let me get in here with bro, man. With uh, say crazy world right here at the top. What they say right here at the bottom? Wealth club, crazy world, wealth club. Wealth club, I mean, we in a wealthy club, man. Yeah, hey, it's not a game. With the back saying this motherfucker, they got crazy a whole message on the back crazy too. Crazy as fuck on the back. How you pick this font, man? Man, shit, I, I seen that shit. My my designer had posted some shit. It said something different. I don't know what it said. But when I seen it, you know how I wanted it? I'm like, yeah, yeah that's it. That's how Yeah, this, this nice right here. I ain't going to lie. It's the perfect level of stack. It ain't coming under my shoe. It's right there at the yeah. heel. You know what I'm saying? Definitely perfect. Come right over the toe of the shoe, too, perfectly, leaving some shoe strings to breathe. Yeah, man, I'm fucking with it, man. Real comfy. Can't go wrong with the black. Can't go wrong with the gray. Right. Yeah, I think the gray the hardest one. I got to re-up on these. I only got probably yeah. one I or like two the gray left. too. I like the gray too. Yeah. What size is that? A large? Nah, this is a medium. A medium, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. For sure, for sure. Yep, yep. But all right, man. Appreciate yep, you stopping yep. by, bro. You too, bro. Until next time, man. Yep, we locked yep, in. Appreciate you. Yep.